But really, it's as simple as this. You get in shape to run. You don't run to get in shape, okay? She'll give us all the details on how to get in shape to run. I think, did I mix that up right there, Kathleen Trotter? It's a tongue twister. Yeah, it is. A... I decided to just throw you off right from the start of the segment. That's, that's good, because I know, because it's all uphill from here, I'm sure, right? Uphill, absolutely. And Which, I did tell you before the segment that you could tell me that I was annoying at any point. I so would never do that to you. You, 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 are, you are a member of the family you here. here. <laughs> You're an author with Finding Your Fit. Yes. Of course, a Huffington Post contributor yes. as well. And I mean, you just keep people in shape. I just try to keep people energized and empowered. And that's why I love being here, because we <laughs> get to energize each other. Yeah, well, that's good. It's good to be energized. Now, when it comes to running, uh, you never believe it, but I prefer running over That's any amazing. kind of exercise. Well, really, it's about, as my book says, finding your fit. So if you like running, you should run. You know, as I always say, the only non-negotiable in fitness is that you move daily. Yeah. But that movement can be however you want to move. So, for example, my mom hates running. Mm -hmm. She walks the dog. Great. I love running. Okay. Running is my bliss. It's convenient. You can do it anywhere. It's... Um, efficient. It's effective. It's invigorating. It's all those great things. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is that all of those benefits are moot if you hurt yourself. Yeah, you don't want to injure right? yourself. And it's so easy to injure yourself, especially after a long winter or you take a hiatus and then you're like, you know what, I used to be able to run 10K, I'm just gonna go out there and go. And mm -hmm. then you're like, oh, now I can't walk or mm -hmm. I've hurt my knee or I've hurt my hip. Running is really hard on the body. So you gotta think about every time your foot hits the ground, it's a single leg activity. Mm -hmm. Your body has to dissipate up to six times your body weight. Mm. Right? That's a lot. So if your muscles aren't strong, if your joints aren't able to take that impact, you can really hurt yourself. Okay. So, no so are you saying then we probably shouldn't run? Because <laughs> that sounds like... No, I'm saying if you like love... Sounds like you hurt yourself. No, no. What I'm saying is you run smart. And more running is not better. Better is better. Okay. So recovery is really key. You know, exercise is hard on the body. It's a stress, and it is a positive stress, but only if you give your, the body the tools it needs to recover. So sleeping, nutrition, rest, recovery, mm -hmm. and with running, gradual progression. So go out, maybe start with two minutes of jogging, and then walk for a minute, then do three minutes of jogging, and mm -hmm. gradually build up until you can do that 5K. And that's totally the way I do it as well. I mean, if you're not Absolutely. feeling it, uh, uh, what, what's the quote? Uh, you're still moving faster than the guy in the couch. Ooh, you know? I love it. You like that? Yeah, I really mm -hmm. like that. You're next book. I stole it from someone. Though. So the trick is, is to become strong. Yeah. So I brought a foam roller, one of my favorite pieces, inexpensive. You can do it anywhere. So many good uh, things. You can roll out your sore muscles post-run, but mm -hmm. you can also strengthen yourself to run. Mm -hmm. So there's three body parts. Three. There's three body parts. There's three body there's parts. Three. You can tell that I can do math yeah. that you really want to focus on when you're a runner. Yeah. Um, your butt, your core. Okay. and your lower limbs, so your shins and your calves, because a lot of people get plantar fasciitis or shin splints, okay? Ouch. So this exercise is an awesome one because it works okay. all of it. So you put this on one foot, and you're sort of pressing down and pushing up, and you're lifting. So this is working my support butt cheek. It's working my core. It's also working my support ankle. Did you say the support butt cheek? <laughs> Yeah, as opposed to the butt cheek that's not supporting me. Okay, interesting. As long as I can give you a laugh are, or something. My job, my job is done. I can go home. I, I can already see this on Instagram. Okay, so okay, so this would be level one. This is happening right? before you go running. This is no, this is happening on a strength day. So you can do squats, you can do lunges. All the typical multi-joint exercises are great, but you also just want to do single leg because you have to uh, strengthen your body in order so it can do single leg activity like running, okay, right? Sure. Okay, so this would be exercise number one, a really great one, and it's strengthening that shin, mm -hmm. okay? And then you want to make it more fun you would <laughs> you would add <laughs> a hinge oh I don't want to hit something yeah. okay so now I'm working that support butt cheek even more <laughs> yep. and I'm wobbly right okay. and I'm training my balance and I'm still working this shin here so I'm getting all those three body parts that I told you was important I'm working my core I'm working my butt and I'm working my lower limbs okay okay and I know you're thinking but what if I don't have a foam roll how do I work That's my exactly shins that's what I was I, thinking my mind is in your mind, <laughs> which is a scary freaking thought. Wow. Okay, so you're at home, you're at work, you're walking to the water cooler, yeah. you just walk on your heels. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, you're like, I got that one down. Yeah, so that's actually worth, <laughs> you're gonna do the little head bob too. <laughs> so that's where, <laughs> that's, you like that's that? working your shins. And then you could do the same thing walking on your toes, you could do some calf raises. Okay, I know we're probably almost done, but I have to show no, you. I got lots of time. Really? No, I can just yeah, hang out? Sure. Wanna do like a whole day here? <laughs> so you <laughs> Maybe down the road. Okay, so you'd put this on. Okay. Okay. And then you could do things where you're standing on one leg. I did bring one for you, but I know that you're probably no, I'll totally like, try that. Why yeah? Not? We're yeah. not at the Kathleen, you're getting annoying point No, no, yet? this is fine. You don't have me on the floor this time, so. This is, <laughs> I didn't say it was going to be easy or pretty. 
But here we go. <laughs> okay. So, <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna do one exercise like this, where I'm bringing my leg out to the side. So again, Whew. this is getting core. <laughs> That's your yeah. exercise, put the band on. Okay, <laughs> so you're working core, you're working butt, you're working ankle. So those three areas that I told you about on the single leg. Okay. Okay, so then you could superset this with something even more fun, but then you could take it back and pulse backwards. Ooh. Right, which gets your hip extensors, which is again, something you need when you run. You're right, that is more fun. Isn't that more fun? And then you want to even go more fun? Fun, as you put it. Yeah. <laughs> then you could put it around your ankles and you could bring your feet a little bit wider. Oh boy. This okay. is something else, yeah. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then you could do little hops. And you're like, why am I hopping, Kathleen? Yeah, well, because the band is trying to pull you in, and then you have to use your butt to keep the band wide. You've said that word a lot, by the way, during this. <laughs> Do you think it's my favorite yeah. word? I don't know. It's, it's, I think it's up there. Okay, what is it about running, though, that it makes it such a great exercise? Honestly, well, one, I love it. So it's hard. It's I'm, I'm a bad person to ask because, honestly, it's like... If I'm in a bad mood, my boyfriend will literally say, Kathleen, go for a run. And yeah. I come back, and I'm so much happier. There's something about it. It releases it's, the endorphins, absolutely. right? Absolutely. But it's also just that it's convenient, and it's really you can get in a short amount of time. If you go out for 20 minutes, mm -hmm. you can get so much done. And my favorite Kathleenism, the worse your mood, the more important your workout. So if you only have 20 minutes, but you're in a really crappy mood, you can fit in something that is going to turn your whole day around. Yeah. It'll be that domino effect that makes you go from like, the, little, the, the mopey <laughs> Kathleen. No, I actually do this sometimes yeah. to myself. I wake up in the morning, I'm in a bad mood. I'm like, Kathleen, stop having a good pity party. Go work out. And then you go work out. Awesome. All these tips and much more. KathleenTrotter.com. Can't wait me. to see the uh, stills that you've stolen from this segment on your social media. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. Kathleen, thank you very much for being here. Good times. We've got more daytime Ottawa coming up in moments. This is Rogers TV. Don't go anywhere, please.